Okay, now that we have uh, our torso roughed out in a really, really basic way, uh, we're going to start um, extruding the arms and the legs and the head out uh, from parts of the torso. Uh, you know, before I do that, I want to point out some things that uh, oftentimes are, you know, are a little bit confusing when um, you're looking at this stuff and working with this stuff for the first time uh, in the front and the side views. You, you notice that um, you know we angled the uh, the neck so that it's actually going in the right direction so that when we extrude the head out and also for the just natural posture and everything uh, that we have an edge that's going straight down this way and so you look at this in the um, in the front view and you go how does that match up so let's take a look and sh let me show you what's going on here let's get to the vert vertices here uh, as you know that when I select the vertices they're highlighted in in red so if I select these vertices right here those vertices belong to this edge that's lower down here you can see that it's lower in the left view well this is what we have going on here these vertices right here represent that set of vertices that belong to this edge right up above it now okay so just give you a little perspective and then these vertices obviously belong to that edge and this one way up here belong to that. So anytime we have an angle in the left view, we're going to end up with rows of vertices that don't seem to line up. Uh, <clears throat> maybe, you know, from your perspective when you're looking at it in the front view, but they do. They're just at a different angle. So this down here represents the vertices on the back of the character. And that's one of the things that's kind of interesting too. I mean, because we have this, this is transparent and because we can see vertices and edges on, you know, on the front and the back from the front viewport. And if we made this, uh, you know, um, not transparent, then we wouldn't be able to see those, okay? But because they're transparent, we can. We can see that. And then we also have... Um, uh, these row, row of vertices here, and those are the ones that are in the front. So you have to sort of get a, a you know, sense of kind of where things belong in here and kind of how they work. Uh, I select those there, and you see that they're in the front. Select these in the back. Well, they're right perfectly aligned with the ones in the front, so we don't notice those. Anyway, that's just a little bit of insight on what you're going to be dealing with as we continue to model our character. We have to be able to look you know, in all directions and not be fooled by um, things, you know, uh, based on just one perspective. We're talking about three dimensions here. And so you have to be aware of what's going on in the rest of the model. Okay, so now that we got that cleared up, hopefully that's going to help you a little bit. Um, well, let's talk about what we're going to be doing next. We're going to do some what's called extrusions. And we're going to extrude some polygons out. And we're going to start with the legs. Okay, so in order to be able to select the polygons that we need to select, which are on the very bottom of the torso, we're going to need to pull this up a little bit here, and we're going to rotate our perspective view. Hold down the Alt key and the middle mouse button. You're able to rotate by moving your mouse around. So what we're going to what we're going to end up um, extruding out are these six polygons right here. So I'm going to select these six polygons and hold down the Control key, select all six of those and of course we're symmetry modifiers is mirroring that and so now we can you know sort of just you know move this down now we'll get back to our front view because we need to see what we're doing in the front and the left views when we're doing this stuff all right now because the the legs are not going perfectly like you know his legs aren't pressed against his knees aren't pressed against each other we need to allow for some space in here so we're, when we do this extrusion we're going to need to extrude out just a little bit and then scale and then extrude some more so and move and so forth and extrude some more uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that so with those polygons selected I'm going to start in the front viewport here and I'm going to click on extrude and what we're going to do is it's extruded out just a little tiny bit based on whatever we were doing before uh, you know whatever I was doing before I should say that we uh, and what we want to do and that's just about right but what I need to do is zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here you'll notice that the the edges for these this extrusion are really close together so I'm gonna click on check to say okay keep that extrusion 
and then I'm going to right click and get my scale tool and I'm going to scale on just the x-axis just a little bit okay uh, maybe uh, just, in fact just a tiny bit because what we're also going to do is we're going to move so right click choose move and then I'm going to move that over just a little bit so that that extrusion goes out here and leaves a little bit of a gap there uh, so that the legs won't be pressed against each other as we're extruding. extruding. Okay, so now we're ready to extrude. <clears throat> so let's click on extrude again because we want this extrude tool back. And this time, unless the, instead of just a little extrusion like we did before, we're going to extrude it all the way down to the ground, if you will, down to the floor, so to speak, at the bottom of his feet. Or almost to the bottom of his feet initially, and then we'll extrude another. So let's go ahead and do that. So pull that out. Let it go down. We've got a little gap there. And what we're going to be able to do here in just a moment is we're going to be able to move those legs apart so that they're actually uh, you know, set up properly. So we'll just move those down to right about there. That'll be good. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, good with that. And I'm going to move this. Whoops. Select those. Whoops. Undo because I deselected my polygons accidentally. There we go and move these legs apart just a little bit because they're coming down at a slight angle. Okay, that's good. And now we're gonna extrude again. Now this time it's way too much, so we're going to bring that up because we just did a big extrusion. And I'll bring this up so that it goes down to the floor at the bottom of the feet there. All right, now the purpose of doing that, of course, is that we're gonna extrude the front of the foot out from here. Okay, so that's going to be easy to select those polygons so we don't have to move to the perspective view or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out of extrude. See, I'm going to keep that. Select these polygons right here. Hold down the control key to get both of them. And then I'm going to go over here to this viewport and I'm going to extrude. And that, look at that, it came out just about exactly the right size. Okay, just happened to be the same distance from here to here as it is from there to there. So we're in pretty good shape there, except actually, if I think about this, let's go ahead and say, uh, we might want to extrude that out just a little bit more now that I think about it, because I need to pull that leg back just a little bit. So probably about to there, say check. If it's not right, then it's easy to just move it out. So we can just see, we can just select it that way if you want to. After you extrude, you have the polygon selected, you can actually just move, pull them out. So I'm gonna, Go ahead and uh, grab the, uh, the bottom of this leg here and just move the whole thing forward. Whoops, I didn't get it all. I do. There we go. And actually, that's not going to work so well, is it? If I pull that, then I'm not getting the other side of the... I know what I need to do. What am I thinking? I'm losing my brain here. Okay, sorry, gang. Um, for just momentary lapse of uh, sanity here, <laughs> I should be working with vertices. When I work with vertices, then it's not going to affect all those polygons up there, and I can just simply move that back. I wasn't thinking. Okay, so there we go, and that's what I'm after. Uh, ultimately, we're going to be adding a bunch of cuts in here, and we'll be doing that pretty soon uh, so that we can shape the legs out. And Just as we have all these extra edges here, we're going to do that later. Uh, but now that we have the legs kind of shaped out here, uh, at least, you know, started extruded out, I should say. Then we're going to now extrude the arms out, which is a little bit more complicated because there's a bit of an angle going on here and so forth, but not terrible. But just as with, um, uh, uh, you know, with the, the legs, we need to select some polygons. Let's go to our, get our polygon tool. And we're going to be uh, moving uh, these polygons right here, which are going to represent the, um, <clears throat> which will represent uh, the arm extrusion, because that's this area right here, not in the front, just the ones in the back, these two right here. Okay, so get our extrude tool. Now this one's a little more tricky, so just bear with me. Uh, click on extrude, and let's bring this in. Okay, we're going to extrude this out a couple of times, just a little bit, and then add to that, and then one more time. And then we're going to get our rotate tool, and we're going to rotate that extrusion. Now, in fact, you know what we want to do first, is we really want to scale that in. So let's scale it first. Scale it on the uniformly. That's what this is. 
This is going to scale it just on the y and the x-axis. And of course, if we just choose one of the axes, it's only going to scale on one of those axes. But we want to scale that in just a little bit because the arms are actually pretty skinny. All right, there we go. Now we can rotate it. All right. And we can move it a little bit. So let's move those down. Okay, there we go. See what we're doing here? We're trying to create the slope of the shoulder and we're making sure that we have a polygon on the end there that is rotated in the right direction so that when we extrude it, we can extrude it pretty much straight down. And even though the arm is bent slightly, uh, we're just going to extrude it straight down just as the legs you know, needed to be. Uh, we're going to work on those and do the detail work later. So now what we can do is uh, add another extrusion and this time bring it all the way down and let's bring it down to uh, the end of the palm, which was right about where the, the, um, uh, the fingers would, would come out from the palm, roughly. We can always adjust that later. And then I'm gonna get my move tool. Yep, except we're gonna say check. And then we get our move tool. And then we can move this into position. See, we're actually got that polygon on the end selected right there. And just kind of get that down to there, just so like we did with the, 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 the legs. Okay, that's all we're gonna be doing for that part right now, and then we're, now we're gonna move on to the head. Like I said, we're gonna be doing the detail work later. We don't wanna get too much into the detail just yet. Just trying to get it roughed out. All right, so now we need to select the polygons uh, at, the, at the top up here, and we wanna make sure we get the right one. So once again, we're gonna go down to the perspective view and rotate this and make sure we're getting just the ver just the polygons that we need and it's just this one right here and of course it mirrors it over there we're going to extrude the neck up and we're going to go all the way to the top of the head even though it's going to look really odd uh, that's the plan because as with most of the rest of the character uh, it won't be complete you know when we when we're doing this part of the process it's just a start okay so once again let's get the whip get the extrude tool all right and that's extruded out quite a ways. Not too far off though. Uh, so let's bring that back. Take a look at it in the, this view. Okay. And eh, let's do it in the left view. And get our move tool. Oh, actually, let's, let's uh, bring it back a little bit first. And then check it for right now. And then move it so that it's sort of there and also rotate it so that it's more going in the right direction. Now that looks pretty weird. Why are we extruding the neck up so far? Well because really what we're going to do is we're going to shape the head based on this neck extrusion. The neck obviously gets extruded out but we're going to uh, actually create the head by doing this. Now there's a couple of other ways we could do this and I can show you and maybe we'll just go, go that route. Uh, I could actually just take this and move it straight down just to where the neck is supposed to be. Okay, totally could do this. This is another way to do it. It's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to model a character, but a lot of different approaches here. So I'm gonna move this, bring it down just a little bit right there. Okay, so let's just say we wanna do it this way. So what we can do is uh, go ahead and extrude again, ex except this time we're going to uh, bring this extrusion out a little bit. So I'm gonna scale it. Now, well, first of all, I'm gonna bring it down a little ways. Let's bring this back so that it's more at the top of the head and also moved into position, which would be this way. No, that's not going to work. We need to, yeah, we'll just do it this way. Okay, so we're just going to bring this down a little ways, okay, to about here. And uh, then we're going to uh, actually. Uh, say OK and then scale it and then we're going to uh, resize this polygon so that it's actually going out like this and move it so it's a little more under the you know right about here in fact I'm going to get vertices just for a second here select those vertices and move the whole thing down just a little bit there we go This will also allow for me to kind of move this into a position so that when we extrude it, it'll be a little bit better. 
There we go. Move that out a little bit to about there. Okay, good. Now we can extrude it again, and this time it'll be, oh, we also want to make sure that we're extruding it. Um, let's take a look at it in the perspective view just for a second. That's what I was saying earlier at the very beginning of this tutorial, that we're going to be using the perspective view. Now that's actually pretty good for right now. Yeah, that'll do just fine for right now. Oh, we notice this right here. This is, this is a little bit of a problem. Uh, we need to make sure right away so that we don't forget, and we're going to do this in the front view, but we got these vertices way over here on the side here. And they need to be, um, if I select just these vertices right here, they're way off zero. And I can just do this right now, right here. Boom, zero. Now they're right in the center where they belong. That's the importance, and that's the first example of how important it is that you have your character centered perfectly, the box that you made originally centered perfectly on the at zero on the x-axis. And that's, that makes it, a lot easy, makes it easy for us when we do make those mistakes or just stuff happens, in this, like in this case, when we're extruding, uh, that, that vertices get moved over from the middle. We never really want the vertices moved over from the middle. In fact, let me show you an example of what would happen if I was to move that vertice over. We make a big hole in the guy's chest. Not so good. So all we have to do to fix that, though, because my character or you know original box model uh, was set to zero on the x-axis, is just hit that, hit zero, and then the, the vertex snaps right back into, into place. All right, let's go back up here. So we're doing okay. Doing great, in fact. All right, so uh, now what we can do is extrude from this polygon right here, okay? And extrude up so that it's gonna go basically up like this and it's gonna make this, you know, sort of boxy shape for the rest of the head. And that'll give us something to work with, okay? So let's go ahead, you know, later on we wanna shape it out. So let's go ahead and extrude that out. Oops, I have element selected instead of polygon. That's not good. So let's make sure we have polygon selected and click on uh, extrude and just let that extrude up to about eh, right there. Good enough for right now because we're going to be doing a lot of adjusting and shaping and then just check it. Now, if I want to, I can, you know, adjust this a little bit by moving the box around. I can rotate the, the, um, uh, the uh, the polygon so that it's you know pointing the right direction. Uh, I can move it, and I could go to local. This is one of the things that I want to point out. We're going to be using local views sometimes, or local for the uh, this, the way that the uh, gizmo works with the object. Choose local, and then the gizmo is moving directly perpendicular to the, the polygon, so that makes it easier for us to to work with sometimes, and that's good enough for now. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we've got uh, our character uh, coming together. We've got uh, the torso roughed out, really, really rough. We've got the legs and the arms roughed out, really rough. And we've got the head roughed out, really rough. We're going to start really shaping it uh, and, uh, and creating um, uh, the palms of the hands and fingers and so forth coming up.